Hello and welcome to another episode of the AI Workshop. So today, without any further ado, we are going to discover how to use UVX in MCP servers. So before we were limited basically in Nenate and in using MPX only servers or SSC servers. But uh, we could see that most of uh, the projects of uh, MCP servers that are built are mostly done in UVX. So in this tutorial, you're going to see how we can build basically that into NHN and uh, be able to use UVX instead of the NPX, which is initially supported. If we go to this uh, repository, which is the awesome MCP servers, and I'm going to leave you the link below. So here you can see that we have tons of MCP servers that we can use and some of them are built using npx others are using docker and others are using uvx and most of them basically use uvx so for this one you could be able to install that into your nhn before but in other cases like this one where you where you have only UVX package that is uh, available, then we can go ahead and have our NHN Docker installation support UVX. And by then we can use these kind of packages without any issues. So here's a demo basically of that package being used. And we can see, we can say list my tools you can see that it's calling this github tools you can see here we're using uvx and this is basically the same command that we have here so if we go to our agent should be able to call those those tools as you can see here so these are the tools that we have and I've just asked them list my tools so here I'm gonna teach you um, how to do that and quickly I've created this uh, NHN UVX repository I'm gonna share it with you it's in the AI workshops github and uh, we're gonna launch a new studio using uh, lightning.ai just to demonstrate how you can use this package and install it and since i have nhn already installed and i want to do that again right okay so once we're in our terminal we're gonna go to our uh, github repository and i'm gonna share the link for that with you uh in the description just scroll a bit down and click on copy and paste this here we're just going to go into our uh, main directory which has been created and we need to copy that .env example to .env so we're just going to do that to .env to .env and now that we have our second file we can go ahead if you want and modify that with, with your password if you want to change your admin username and these will be locally created uh, folders which will hold the the configuration for NHN and here the configuration for the MCP servers and then next step is to build our image locally so to do that we can copy and paste this and this will take a minute I have done that already in past so it was pretty quick but it will should take a couple of minutes on your end and then you can simply copy this and paste it um, docker compose we can leave that without the dash since that was the old version and now we should be up and running so once it's installed you know you can uh, access your uh, your NHN via the local host in the port five six seven eight as you can see here this is a local ip i have already this installed locally so before you can use uh, your mcp tool here 
you have to go to here to your uh, basically to your settings and it's gonna load up this page you go to community nodes here and you can simply type this NHN notes MCP so once you install you can browse the community and search for it or you can simply type the name if you know it which is NHN notes MCP check that mark and install that since I already have it installed so it's already there and that's all you need to do here to have your your final uh, node into uh, inside NHN and this node is basically this one so I'm just gonna remove these so let's demonstrate how you can add a tool to your, uh, to your uh, AI agent here if we go here we know we have the new MCP client tool from uh, from N8N but this one doesn't allow us to use STDIO it's for SEC only so unless you have an SEC server you won't be able to use this one so the other new node that you're gonna see now if you search for MCP is this MCP client tool with the uh, with this little cube indicating that it's coming from a community package and uh, here it's as simple as creating a new credentials you can rename that github fetch for example and here since now we have uvx which is supported we can simply copy this and we're going to type on the command uvx we're going to copy this and we can remove all the all the double quotes and the commas since we don't need that replace them with a space so now we have our final command here we can save this all right we have our new tool and we can list now We can list the tools that are available let's just save this and say so what are the tools available and it's gonna pull the tools that are indeed supported by this uh, by this github repo so you can see here so this was the node to list the tools now we're gonna add another one to execute those tools so we'll just duplicate this one since it's the same configuration and we'll drag a node that will say this one is execute cute github mcp whatever is good for you I prefer to set this manually and call call this tool to run github actions for example we'll change this to execute tool and here in the tool name choose expression double quotes double curly quote curly uh, brackets sorry double curly brackets and from AI then selected tool and you can leave the rest as is you can also here if you want you can copy and paste this in case selected parameters for example and now we can also ask it to analyze so let's say we want to analyze this mcp server airbnb 
So we'll say analyze this. And now it's going to call the execute tool as well. And it should be working on getting the. There you go. So we got our uh, response from the Airbnb, and we can see the structure of the files, which indeed concords with uh, what's in their GitHub repository. I hope you liked the content of this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next episode.